Hey, man, you win some, you lose some. I don't care. I fight every day. For, you know what I'm saying? This shit, this so, shit fun to me. Yeah. Negotiating, this shit fun to me. Right. I love you this shit. All day. I can do this shit all day long. My name is Darnell Robinson, um, and I gotta take this phone call. Thanks, that's good go. Money wish it could. Oh, you got on. Oh, thank you. I got on my own drip for real, for real. This it's my turn. University. I got on the university pants. University. Okay. This ain't out yet, but it's coming soon. Hold on, I gotta check out the detail though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's the detail. detail okay. <laughs> Nah, for real. Um, now, who we got in it? We got uh, Erica Banks. We got um, Jacquees, CEO Trail, Key Glock, Spot Em, Got Em, Chris Brown. Yeah, we working. You know what I'm saying? We working. Um, me, I just, I'm a marketing, you, I just be wearing it. You know what right, I'm saying? I right. wear it. So You are the market, you are the brand. Yeah, okay. Type okay. shit. The goal for it? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy that you asked that. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like, um, me, I'm really an artist. Like, I really love to, to put things together. I'm really a renaissance man. And then, like, in that same breath, I just like dope shit. Excuse my language. I like dope shit, right? So, it's like, I bet. And then, I want shit that nobody got yet, but I feel like it's dope enough that you will rock that shit. Like you'll be, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll right. put that on, you know right. what I'm saying? And put that with your off white, uh, mix that with your your uh, uh, chrome hard, uh, or your Dior, uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. You'll you'll mix it up, you know what I'm saying? So I do that, right? Then I made it a business because it's really a lifestyle of mine. I just want to wear things that's mine. That's unique to me and I put my own designs together. I take time. I literally have a meeting every week for designs and we put all of this stuff together. You know what I'm saying? So, so how did the name come about? Cause I was, I'm big on speaking things into existence. Okay. So it's my turn. Okay, it's your turn. All right. And then classes and session. And classes and session. Yeah. Going everywhere you don't, everywhere you dreaming, wish you could. Man, I did a lot. Uh, so I started, the first time I was on TV was for my Sweet 16, okay. Sweet 15, for real, for real. Um, I did that, you know, I did the Coming to America theme. Rihanna was my date. I had lions, tigers, and bears, <laughs> and all of that. And, you know, we went crazy. Uh, I had one of the biggest shows on MTV. Um, I definitely had one of the... Uh, the biggest shows on the platform at the time. Um, so I think all time, actually. Yeah, I think they told me that all time. I, I, I like got like the highest ratings. Yeah, nice. and they brought it was dope though because MTV brought me back for like ten other episodes. So nice. Yeah. Nice. So usually, including Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor was there. Quincy, okay. I was I was there for his, and I actually I linked Quincy. For that joint, but yeah, my boy, real talk. You know, I stayed up. I'm watching Sweet Sixteen one night, and I'm like, yo. It was the first season. It was the first season, and I'm like, yo. I'm like, they ain't got no black people on this show. And I was like, damn. Not only do they not have no black people on this show, I was like, they ain't got no black. Sh I ain't gonna go there. Wait, so you had drink before Tiana Taylor? Huh? Yeah. Sweet Sixteen was before Tiana Taylor. Yeah, facts, okay. facts, facts. Um, yeah, they ain't had. I just realized they had no, no, you know, no people like us on the show. So right. I was like, you know, what? I gotta show them how we party, like how we get down, type. And um, it's another promoter. Sorry, I do a lot of bookings now. It's okay. another business of mine. Um, okay. I Who do. are you looking for? Who am I not booking for? Okay. You know. 
Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, nobody's exclusive, but we we do great numbers. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm at a service. Uh, if I know this guy or if I could get to this guy and you want to book him for a show, uh, you know, give me my ten percent commission yeah. and I keep it pushing. You know, right, right. sometimes money. it's you know as little as two hundred dollars, right? Which means that the artist was two thousand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or it's as big as you know me, like a little dirt. I just booked little dirt for Miami, hundred thousand. That's ten thousand commission. You know, right. so shit like that. But that's, you know, bookings is a... Uh, I definitely love that industry. I'm going to get into throwing concerts eventually and stuff like that. But I'm getting my feet wet where I'm at. And uh, things are just moving at a great pace for me. It keeps me busy. Put your legs on top of my shoulders. Let me take it off. I was born in Jamaica. 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 I was born in the music industry. For real. Okay, tell us about that. Um... My grandmother, my grandfather, my, uh, Sylvia Robinson, okay. Joseph Robinson, my grandfather. He was just the, the head honcho, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my grandmother, she was singer, songwriter, producer, engineer. She did it all. And, and she was she, the CEO of her own label. Oh yeah, um, well because of her music, again, we got a number one record, uh, Drake and 21 Savage with Jimmy Crooks. They sampled, you know, one of our songs from the catalog and here we go again up the charts. Yeah, so she just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There we go. Yeah, mommy. Oh, yeah, real talk. Mommy doing it. Sorry, I call her mommy like we always called the mommy growing up. but. Okay. Yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? It don't stop. It don't stop. Like, from Jay-Z, we got Jay-Z's biggest record of all time, Empire State of Mind. Uh, Empire State of Mind was off of a sample, uh, The Moments, uh, Love on a Two-Way Street. And that's something that my grandmother wrote. So, you know what I'm saying? Got another one off that one. Uh, Bound to Kanye West. His single, uh, what else? A Star Is Born, Jay Z, J Cole. Um, so how now do you represent the group? Like now that people are sampling and using their songs and whatnot, like how how do you represent that? Um, I mean, really, I'm just I guess you could say the face of the company. Um, okay, I'm, that's big. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm outside. They know everybody see me. I'm outside. Okay. You want to get deals done? Yeah, holla at me. I'm I'm outside. It's my bloodline. It's my bloodline. Uh, it's I couldn't put words to it. It's it's something that I just wake up and do. It's something that is in my blood. It I I woke up and seen it every day in my life growing up. I was around it every day, and it made me who I am. And, uh, yeah, that blood's still running through my veins. Okay, so you ain't never worked a 9 to um, Nah, you want to hear a funny story, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, my 9 to 5, right? Oh, so, so yeah. real talk, nah, look, I went to go get a job, like, real talk. I got tired, like, y'all think, all right, cool, this nigga just got a musical family, and he said, cool, yeah, all right, cool. Got the house, got the... You know the luxuries of waking up every day cool. Nigga ain't got no money in his pocket, nigga. I don't give a fuck. That shit ain't cool. Like, it just ain't cool. So I'm like, yo, daddy, mommy, I need money. Like, I'm all this, you know, money to eat and all that. That's cool. Gas money, cool. But I need money. Like, so I'm going to go get a job, right? I went to go to Porsche to be a car salesman and work for Porsche, right? Okay. I went up there. I'm like, yo, look, listen, I went to... Tenafly High School, which number one high school in the county, is, is, I mean, the owners of every company go to my high school. You know what I'm saying? I was the only black in my high school. Me, well, other, it was two black. Me and uh, Quincy Diddy's son. 
We was the only two, and you know what I'm saying? We, I knew where I was at, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, cool. All my friends drive Porsches, for real. Um, I was like, can I, can I get a job here? I know I can sell some cars. Yo, he was like, all right, cool. Come in tomorrow, make sure you got your suit. Da, da, da. I'm like, word, I gotta wear suits to work every day, real talk. And um, the day that I had to go into work, I don't know, it was just weird. Timing, and that's why I always say God is real, like with his timing and how he want things. And it's like, if something happened, you know what I'm saying, in the mix of things, don't don't be mad. Don't don't try to even be mad about it. It's like, it just wasn't the time, like, patient. So, me being diligent and just, you know, wanting it, I went to go get a job. As soon as I went, I was stopped. My uncle called me and was like, Darnell, come to my house. I went to his house before I was supposed to go to Porsche in the morning. He said, you're not going to work. You're going to work for me. I said, damn. I said, all right. So what was your uncle doing? My uncle, he was the business side of the family. And then he became, you know, he he jumped in as one of the members of the Sugar Hill Gang because one of the guys didn't want to rap no more. So my uncle was like, all right, I'm a fill in. He filled in and he toured the world. He was also the, you know, the son of the creator of the Sugar Hill Gang and, you know, on the record label side. So he got to see both sides of the industry, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what really groomed Joey and really made Joey who he was. And then from there, um, yeah, me and my uncle was inseparable. So I was saying that to say this. I went, I was supposed to go to work and my uncle told me not to go. I ended up moving in the house with him. He told me not to leave, told me to go get my stuff. And me and him was like this, you know what I'm saying? To this day? I mean, rest in peace, he just left me really? not too long ago, so yeah. August, uh, August 11th, yep, yep, 7 11. Wow, yep, so, um, but not this year, it was like three years ago, four years ago, but yeah, that's that's my man's right there, you feel me? I got him tatted right here, you feel me? Okay. We did, that's my dog. 2015, damn, time be, see, time be flying. He's very bro. impactful on your life, yeah, facts. I mean, you know, he taught me the game, he taught me the, the industry, he taught me the business side. You know, as well as I got to see the the artistry through him because I'd be on the road. Some nights he'd make me the DJ. Some nights he'd make me the hype man. You know what I'm saying? It was just like he just let me fill out every role to get kind of, you know, used to how this thing go. So, so you're well acclimated in every role. For sure. In the industry. Man, even on uh, the King R&B tour, Jack Weiss tour, some nights I was DJing. Some nights I was uh I was doing the 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 digital, you know, the, the the thing in the background, I forget what you call it, the um, back line I was doing back. You know, like, every night, you know, some nights I'm styling Kui. I'm picking out outfits and putting outfits together. For, it's like, really, I'm a serviceman, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. Like, whatever it is, that's going to get the job done and get the job done flyest and dopest as possible. Like, that's that's me. I'm going to make sure that, you, you know, real talk. There ain't no complaints with me. Cause I'm gonna figure out a way to make it better and make it what it what it gotta be, so everybody cool. Like you know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't finna be amongst no complaining. Cause why? I feel like energy is everything. Right. Energy is everything. So if you got that type of energy around you, you know what I'm saying? It's only gonna keep. You know. I want good energy. I want to be able to have space for good shit to come in, and I go, oh, that was nice. I. Right. Let's go. Keep going. Did you play police? I swear I'm trying to break the law. You're multiple artists. Yeah. You're working in multiple ways. Like you said, you work with Shout out to FYB buddy. Records. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Which has multiple artists on there. Mm -hmm. Which. Sugar Hill as well. Let's go. Okay. There you go. So what artists are you currently representing that you're pushing? Like personally. Man, I mean, I could keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I stamp a lot of my boys out here. Um, you know, and I may not have them on paperwork or, not, or nothing like that, but know that my energy is very well infused with that 
career or that project or that, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is. So sometimes that's good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, hey, man, that's a whole other conversation. But don't ever think that you finna, you know, abuse the situation because I'm here to be used, not misused. You know what I'm saying? So for sure. But let's start. Let's start A to Z, you feel me? We got Young Bokey. We got C Trillionaire. We got DC Da Vinci. We got D Quincy Gates. We got uh, Tevin. We got uh, B Pace. We got um, D Gotti. Um, uh, uh, Wes, uh, the producer. My boy Ranello going crazy. Um, uh, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Jacquees. Um, yeah, and album on the way. Be ready. Single with Chris Brown out. <laughs> Single with Future out. You know what I'm saying? Executive produced by Future out. Let's go. Stop playing with us, man. All right. And then um, let me see who else. Who else? Um, shout out, shout out to my boy B Live B. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, young Zoo. Um, yeah, we, we really have emotion. You know what I'm saying? And, and the crazy shit is, all my boys got shit going for themselves. Like, real talk. And we pushing all that shit. Like, Tevin, his shit finna be on TV next week. Bokey, album finna drop in a couple weeks. Like, we in mastering mode right now. Like, it's just so much going on. And this shit got me so excited. <clears throat> All of these boys keep me excited. Every day. Keep me excited. They make me want to wake up and do this. I go to sleep. Sometimes I can't wait to wake up to get that email or, you know what I'm saying, that text. or It's always something. So, yeah, and all of this keep me happy, saying not everything is about money. You know what I'm saying? If somebody come with an offer and they say, hey... I have an offer for you, or hey, I, you know, I wanna, how much, then we'll talk that. But if you know me, I know you, I done been around you a couple times, you done been around me a couple times, and I see you try to do something with your life, you trying to do something, you know what I'm saying, a platform to progress, I'm gonna come do it. We ain't gotta talk about no money, just pick up some wings for me or something, you feel me? Pick up some wings for me. Talk, real talk. Hey man, I love you for that real talk. Can I get all the answers? I be on your mind, no yeah. Um, like I said, this this game run through my blood and I'ma be here. Okay. And then lastly, what can we just expect from you? I mean, I'm a president at thirty. Now Well I'll be five years from now. Let's, oh yeah, definitely married, kids, got a beautiful baby, you know what I'm saying? My baby beautiful, my baby beautiful. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, you feel me? We we comfortable, we, we doing what we got to do, you know what I'm saying? She working, she a hairstylist, traveling hairstylist. Nice. She get busy out shout here. Out. Huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Out. Real girls room, you feel me? Shout out to the real girls room, you feel me? My girl go crazy. Like, she really out here. She do, like, network shit. Like, you know, like, she be on networks, behind the scenes, doing hair. Nice. Then you may see her in her salon. Then you may see her with Dreezy or set somewhere. It's like, you know, you just never know. She, she you know, she get busy with her, with her hair. But I love her because she get busy and she bring her ass home. Nice. You feel me? That's important. If you ain't in tune with your partner, that's it's gonna be hard because you don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Times where you don't know and you just miscellaneous, you be like, yo! But, you know, I feel like all of that, they get built up too. Took a lot of time for us to even get there, but I'm happy as hell. Man, I'm I'm a president now. I'm doing everything I want to do. I'm I'm going harder. What do I want? Give me five times the salary. Give me, give me ten times. You know what I'm saying? Give me. Yeah. Yup. I take 
whatever life want to give me for it. Because all of this here is just in the physical form. I don't, you know, this is cool to me. It's just to make people, you know, but I know what I am. I'm a spiritual, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to, to do a certain type of work on this planet. So, you know, in the meantime, I'll take the awards and all of that. That's cool with me. Tevin would say in the meantime, between time. In the meantime and in between time, you know what I'm saying? All right. Well, thank you for the interview. For sure. And we're just going to tap out. Let us know again who you are. My name is Darnell Robinson. Some know me as Darnell Roy. FYB Records. Shout out your Instagram. Yeah. Um, at RCE Darnell Roy. That's my Instagram. Um, follow your boy. You see the drip? You see my yeah. body? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh,